Your vocals are getting destroyed by the robots. You're using all the plugins that uh, do this, do that automatically. D, S, D, verb, D, blah, blah, blah. D in your fucking face off. You're D in everything. You're getting the big D. That's what you're doing. You're bringing a bunch of different random artifacts into your music by using all these. Here's this automatic process to do all this stuff. Sometimes it doesn't work, right? So you got to do it manually. Let me show you my speed tips in Logic Pro to manually edit your vocals. Let's get into it. It's going to be fun. You guys might have these cool RC cars, but... Do you have a fucking RC car that can stick to the fucking ceiling? I think not. All right, so first of all, if you didn't notice already, I'm in a completely different room, totally soundproofed, spent about $15,000 to build this room. I'm really excited about it. So I just moved everything down and here we are. New room, new sound, baby. So if you're joining us for the first time, I'm Bradley Denniston. This is Radium Records in Hollywood, California. Um, I want to show you something in Logic to speed up your vocal chops, man. Like you got to record, you got to edit, you got to do fades, you got to do all this stuff. And uh, I've been using Logic for damn near 15 years now. So I got a lot of uh, stuff to show you. So I'm going to show you just in this, I just threw together this track uh, with some loops and some drums and everything and a bass line and my vocals. And I'm going to show you how I would edit these vocals. It's kind of nonsense right now as far as the lyrics go, so don't. Don't worry about that. This sauce is sauce. I'm really lost in the way you walk. I'm all in walking. The thought in the and It don't need love to really sob in. Okay, so just some vocals right here, but I want to show you, I'm not really going to like focus in on my vocal performance or anything like that or the strip or anything like that. I want to show you guys some navigation things, some editing tools and how to manually make your vocals edit much better. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice, I have take folders here in Logic Pro. And the first thing I always do, no matter what, if you got take folders, Command D, duplicate the track, Option, click and drag that vocal passage with the folder. Uh, just give yourself a duplicate. You can mute it. You can turn off the channel. You can turn off all the plugins to save processing power. But at least now you have a duplicate of your folder of all the different takes if you ever want to go back to it. So that's something I learned after doing this for way too long and on major films and stuff. And and uh, you just have to save your work. It's so important. So I'll just go here. I'll right click and I'll hide selected track so I don't see it. Now I can click on this A here on this take folder and just flatten and merge it. OK, so that's one thing. That's your first tip. It's really fast. Just make sure you're only working with one vocal after you've comped everything. Um, second thing is know your zoom tools, right? We need to navigate. We need to zoom really quick. So control option. If I hold those two down, I get the magnifying glass. Of course, in logic, you can do your key commands however you want. So if you want to see your key commands, you're going to hit option K. OK, hit option K. You're going to see all your key commands and you can search by key label. You can say zoom, right? Zoom tool, whatever, right? Uh, zoom tool. Why? If you click Y, you'll get the zoom tool, um, zoom. Uh, there's all this stuff, zoom in, zoom to fit selection. You know, you have all these things. So you can see here the control option key, the zoom window is uh, shift command M. So you could just set all your key levels however you want right here, which is really cool. OK, so for me, control option brings up the magnifying glass temporarily. So temporary tool is probably what you need to look for. And then I can zoom in on my vocals, right? I can really see what's going on. I could see this breath. OK, now the second tip, I guess this is the third tip for you to really go fast is um, to zoom in on your waveform view, right? Because you need to learn how to read the waveforms to become a really great editor and don't get it twisted. It's 2021. If you're not a great editor at audio, you're not a great record producer. You're not a great engineer. Oh, my ears burn. You have to be good at editing. We use DAWs, we use software, we edit, we click mouses all day, right? Like this is a big part of the process to make a professional record. Next thing I'm gonna show you is how to zoom in on your waveform. Right now, I have my key command set as control option command up and down arrow. So if I do that, I can zoom way in on the on the waveform. Zoom in way in, right? 
and then zooming in with my temporary dragging, you know, getting in really close here. Okay, so those are all really, really useful tools. Hopefully that's gonna speed up your workflow right there even, right? So the next thing I want you to get is, are you paying attention? Are you keeping up? This is, this is important stuff. This is the stuff that you got to learn and master. So you don't even have to think about it. Right? So the next thing I'm going to show you is of the utmost importance. I'm going to be working on one section of this vocal, let's say at the beginning here, right? If I hold on, if I click the, and drag over the clip, the actual region, I can set a key command to take this guy, which is my cycle this this yellow and i can set it around that region and you can do that with a key command and i highly recommend you set that key command for me i think it's control apostrophe and you'll see it just wraps around that so every time i hit play it's going to play from the beginning of the vocal line this sauce, this sauce, I'm really, this sauce, this okay so that's really great that's like basically uh go um region around cycle area or cycle area set cycle to region selection all right so make sure you know that tip that's really important who did now this last one this last thing that i'm going to show you is the thing that helps me and it's kind of a two-in-one little tip here for vocal editing but it's the one thing that i can say has made me a very much much better producer composer and engineer and i know that sounds ridiculous but especially with vocal editing this is everything for me set your secondary tool as the marquee tool i i can't stress this enough the marquee tool don't set it as your clip tool your glue your scissors don't do any of that just set it as your marquee tool tool and what that is is you hold down command you're going to get the marquee okay now why the marquee because with these conjunction this conjunction of everything that i'm showing you right now the zooming and the blah 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 by the way if you haven't already hit the like button please for god's sake it's like 60 70 percent of the people that watch these videos on youtube aren't even subscribed to the channel like come on subscribe to the channel haven't I done enough for you? I'm just playing. You can subscribe or not. I don't care. But please hit the like button. Helps us out. All right. So now I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to use the marquee in conjunction with these edit, edit tools. Okay. So if I zoom in and then I go to the marquee holding down command, right? Yours might be different. And then I double click on the region. It's going to cut it. Massive, right? So if I'm going through this vocal and I'm cutting out, let's say breaths. Let's say I just want to gain up breaths. I can see that this is definitely a breath. I, I can just chop out the breath right there. Okay, and then I can go up to region here. Hopefully you're paying attention and you can turn down just the breath. Now, if I turn the breath down, because as you add compression, you add things, you know, gain structure basically to your channel, you're going to bring those breaths way up, right? So you're compressing, you're, you know, just the breath becomes really big. So now I can also use a conjunction of fading, right? So I can fade here. Now, how I did that is control shift. I hold that down and I drag over the area I'm trying to fade. Okay, that is a massive, massive key. You wanna get good at editing, you use all these tools together, right? You zoom in and out, you could double click, you could click and drag over the zoom area, use the marquee tool on your command tool, your secondary tool, double click to cut. You can also with the marquee tool, let's say make a selection like from here to here and then click on it and it cuts it. So let me show you that again. I mean, this thing is really powerful. So marquee tool, I'm gonna cut right here, all the way to here, bam, it's cut. So I can literally just get rid of stuff if I want to, right? That's what I want. I just want to focus on this. This is the only part I like, whatever, right? So the marquee tool as your secondary tool is really powerful with editing any audio, I think in Logic Pro, but with the conjunction of these tools and setting these key commands for yourself, remember option K will take you to the menu. You could set your key commands, learn by key label or position. You just hit that and then you do whatever key command you want to do. All right. So these things together is going to make you just a master at editing in Logic Pro. Like, you know, you could come in here and you could just clean stuff up really quick, right? Bam. You know, get rid of that, zoom in on here, fade it, bam. Just to do that simple, I mean, that's actually a process, right? Like cutting, zooming in, cutting, fading, all that stuff. Like there's not just one button that does that. And a lot of the times, if you are using like, you know, isotope, de-essing, de-breathing, whatever, you're gonna, you don't really have control over the process. And if you wanna make professional records and you wanna spend the time to go in detail and make things sound really great and clean, this, these are the tools you need to use. You need to do it manually and you need to listen. 
right? So you make an edit, you listen, you make an edit, you listen. Um, and then once you get really good at reading waveforms and zooming in and out and doing all this stuff, you're going to become so much faster at using Logic Pro, Pro Tools, FL Studio, whatever. You got to learn these key commands, the navigation stuff, right? So zooming in, getting the waveform bigger, right? Uh, using the marquee as your secondary tool, chopping, um, fading over a, a region, right? Like I can literally fade all the way wherever I want. I can even bend the region, right? Holding control shift, I can make the change of the fade. So that's it. That's, I mean, come on, this stuff is golden. It's stuff nobody talks about online, right? So they're like, yeah, check out this new plugin. And I love plugins, don't get me wrong, but this is the stuff that I spend hours doing to make my record sound great. So hopefully you love, love this and you got something out of it. And if you got to the end here, I got a little freebie here. Uh, click the link in the description. I'm gonna give you a, uh, a tutorial I did for Logic Pro showing you how to mix and master using the stock plugins, which is really cool, and a session with all my channel strips and everything. So click that link right there. It'll ask for your email, of course, and uh, we'll connect. You'll get that freebie. And if you like this video, share it, like it, you know, comment on it, ask me a question. I'm always here and that's it. Get out of here, mix series. Go make some edits.